Hi all, today's class we will be focusing on how to uh, have a clear understanding of basic uh, terminologies uh, for writing a coding with respect to Raspberry Pi using Python. Okay, so uh, first we will be continuing on with uh, how to write, how to call your GPI opens. So uh, the first one is to call your GPI open. So this is the first one. So the simple way of calling them is write the command import or pi dot gpio. So this is the simple command which is used for doing that. Make sure these two are in caps and this is in small letter. Uh, since your Python coding is uh, is S2. Okay, this is the command for doing calling your GPI pins. Then uh, if you you may uh, use your uh, Python code with respect to board pin, pin numbering or else uh, BCM which is called as Broadcom chip specific pin number so what is the meaning of that is so you can I'll just go to this see over here there's a Raspberry Pi pin out number so this is there is totally 40 pins so these are the numbering given over here so you, you can see if you watch carefully uh, this number is 1 this number is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7, this is 8, this is 9, this is 10. Okay, this is one numbering, this is, which is called as board numbering. There is another one numbering, for example, you can see it over here. The same pin number 5 is called as GPIO3. The same pin number 7 is called as GPIO4. So, you should choose either this number or else this number. Suppose if you are going to choose this number, it is called as board number. And if you are going to choose this number, it is called as BCO number, which is nothing but Broadcom chip specific number. Okay. So I will also write an instruction how to work on it. So if you are going to use board, you should write GPIO board. If you are going to use BCM, this is how you want to write. You do remember BCM stand for com chip specific pin number okay suppose if you are going to uh, use them uh, if you are going to use them uh, this is the this is this point also you want to remember gpio dot set mode gpio dot pcm so this is the second thing you want to remember then the third one is how to set your pin mode whether it is output mode or input mode so you can use your ios either for in either as an input or, an, or as an output so for that how to uh, do that we can see so you can use them as input or as output okay the general a uh, syntax or whatever you used to call like for your understanding i'm writing this as syntax the general syntax is setup pin number cpi whether it, if it is input mention in if it is output mention out so this is how you want to write so to have some good understanding we can take a take one example in this example i'm going to take uh, 16 as output pin okay so to write that i will mention gpio dot setup 16 comma gpio dot output so uh, this is how i can call the 16 with respect uh, to output or input and uh, i can also decide uh, whether it is one or zero uh, which is on or off to decide that to decide i or low so which is nothing but one or zero uh, this is the instruction you want to follow on 
gpio dot output 16 comma gpio dot low so uh, if you see here uh, first to make sure this 16 is my output value so i use this instruction then i want to make sure whether it is low or high so i used this instruction so i should mention gpio dot output and the pin number and whether it is low or high suppose if it is high i want to mention over here so uh, this is how you are you're supposed to uh, set the pin mode and the fourth one we can focus is a pwm output so pwm is nothing but pulse with modulation okay. uh, so we can see one uh, example uh, how to initialize that gpio dot ewm in frequency so uh, this is just the syntax uh, whatever i'm writing is now uh, to then uh, to provide the value pwm start the value and mention the dc so we can see one example So I'm going to use uh, my pin number with respect to 18 and uh, one uh, kilohertz uh, frequency uh, I'm going to choose. So I will, if I want to write uh, a program for that, I'll be using pwm is equal to gpio dot pwm 18 comma so this is kilohertz right so frequency is mentioned with respect to hertz so i will mention thousand over here okay and i want to mention the duty cycle right so i will use ewm dot start so i have used 50 of my uh, duty cycle and if i need to change this 50 uh, to something like 75 or if i want to stop it what is the instruction so if I want to change my duty cycle, my instruction is pwm change duty cycle to 75. So if I want to stop it, stop. So this is another instructions how you can use with respect to your pwm. And we can see uh, the fifth one, which is uh, for uh, the input. For input or output using if statement if gpio dot input is 16 print in 16 is i so see uh, this is just to use uh, a shown example how i'm going to use this statement with respect to your input and output so if with respect to input 16 do this else do this so uh, this is how oh, so this is how i can use the if statement with respect to input and output then uh, the sixth one is using the pull pull up or Pull down resistor. This is more uh, some technical term, or you can remember it's a fixed resistor. So, how to use that? So, 
so if I'm going to use uh, the pull up or pull down uh, register uh, first I want to call this function pull up down GPI dot up and pull up down equal to GPIO dot So this is the keyword you want to remember. So if I'm going to use any pull up or pull down resistor, I want to specify it like this. I want to specify that and I can write my code like this GPIO dot setup sounding. I'm just assuming sounding in GPIO, which can, whether it is an input or an output, then you want to mention uh, what kind of uh, whether you are going to use a pull down resistor or a pull down pull up resistor for a particular. In. So this is another one important thing you want to remember. Uh, then the uh, seventh one. Seventh one is uh, delay. Suppose if you're going to use, you want to reduce the timing of your program. You want to increase the timing of your program. You want to uh, maintain the timing of your program. Then use something called time. So normally this instruction will be used in Python. Import time. So if you, you import this time, uh, there will be something called sleep time dot sleep. Through this, you can control the seconds. So I have mentioned time dot sleep 0 0.25 means each 0.25 seconds, each 0.25 seconds, my value changes so the delay value is delay is 0 0.25 second so this is a point you want to remember so uh, this is also another one a key parameter with respect to python coding using raspberry Pi. then the fourth one is uh, garbage collected so so this case nothing but uh, you want to clear up all the GPIO previous programs or in values, just use this value GPIO cleanup. Open basis. So, this is a very simple thing. So, make sure of uh, these things once again. So, it's an important thing to call your uh, GPIO pins using this instruction. Then you can uh, set mode the board with respect to BCM or board. Make sure to choose between these two so that you can effectively use. Then the input and output make sure how to use it perfectly uh, with respect to low and high values uh, then your pwm uh, which should be mostly used in uh, some uh, motor controlling purpose and if a statement how it can be used a simple instruction it is being given then a pull down and pull up resistor this is the most important parameter if you are more concerned with uh, voltage and uh, current or else current then uh, delay uh, delay element it is time do remember another point i just like to add in this point uh, during this time this time right uh, this is a universal program there is a, a guy wrote or maybe a girl who knows so uh, time dot py so there is a program which is written uh, by a programmer using the mac library uh, so it's not mandatory always to import this time if you want you call this time otherwise you write your own coding for time then you use that in your program it's your wish but there is an uh, it, github uh, the repository is that which you can access for free and you can get this codings so you're better to use it or else if you really want to work on with coding you just go on with it then the clean up yes so whenever you need to clean up and work on with different different values just use this instruction in the program that's it so that's it